The Chief Magistrate's Court in Kanungu District has dismissed a petition in which Foshine Charikunda had failed seeking to set aside the ruling that ordered her to compensate Richard Tumwine after turning down a marriage promise. Charikunda filed a petition on March 17, 2023 through MS Nasike and advocates wanting that the ruling issued by Kanungu Grade 1 Magistrates Court in a civil suit number 024 of 2022 be set aside so that she should be allowed to file a defense and the same be heard in the party. Charikunda urged that she did not receive summons of the original jurisdiction and was unable to file defense because her phone was by then used by her sister, identified as Rona Atukwasa. In the original jurisdiction court, had ruled that since Charikunda did not fulfill the promise to marry Tumwine, he was entitled to reimbursement of 9 million shillings he spent on her studies and an additional 1 million shillings as general damages for the inconveniences and psychological anguish suffered. In a ruling dated May 25, 2023, but read on Tuesday, Kanungu Grade 1 Magistrate Asanasio Mukombi dismissed the application with costs on grounds that Sharikunda consistently never appeared before this court and so is her purported counsel. Mukombi also says that court has failed to locate for Charikunda in her hideout to deliver to her justice she is pursuing moreover out of court. The court ruling reads that the applicant has defeated her own pursuit for justice. She has consistently never appeared before this court and so is her purported counsel. They do not even want the application filed by themselves to be heard and determine although the applicant alleges that she wants justice being heard. This court has failed to locate for the applicant in her hide how to deliver to her the justice she is pursuing moreover out of court. This is incredible and it must be out of shame given the circumstances of the subject matter in the main suit. Justice is not only for the applicant but also the respondent. In the result, one dismisses is applicant with cause of the respondent since the same was abandoned by the applicant. From now, yes, I can trust the woman because God made us differently. That one may have that, that speed, another one may come with another speed which is different. Waiting for the fund of my money, and I also here, I'm also here praying for our magistrate to maintain that speed of promoting justice in the Kanogu district. Because many girls, Many boys have died or uh, have died of that, of the same case. And most of the people, they fear to go to court. Others, they kill their friends. Others, they kill themselves. But for me, I thought going to court can be the peaceful way and the best way of handling that issue, which is common. Commonly, this is commonly, <laughs> commonly used or happening in most of the areas in our country. Tumwine's lawyer Elasmas Nabimanya welcomes the ruling saying that Tumwine deserves justice. Um, we welcome the ruling of uh, uh, this court. Uh, the applicant's application was uh, dismissed uh, with costs. Uh, I must note that this was the second uh, application the applicant is filing and somehow for this particular application it was uh, dismissed with costs. But among many other grounds, the applicant has continuously not appeared in court throughout the proceedings in this matter. And in particular this application, the applicant's counsel and uh, the applicant herself abandoned the application. We filed our submissions as the court had requested, had directed for us to, to, to file. Um, and being the respondent, uh, much work was supposed to be done by the applicant. Nabi Manya adds that Sharikunda's decision to continue speaking in court is because she had nothing to urge about. From now, we shall file a bill of costs 
and uh, and have it taxed so that we have a lump sum uh, amount to finally apply for execution because in uh, we have the principal amount that the court had already uh, declared to be paid to uh, the plaintiff in this matter and then we also had costs that had been awarded in the main suit um, then uh, the current application which the court has also dismissed with costs Jerry Kunda declined to comment on the matter when contacted by a reporter Tumwine and Charikunda, both teachers, started their relationship in 2015 at Chiringa Primary School in Kambuga Sub-County and entered a marriage agreement in 2018. During that time, Tumwine financially supported Charikunda and sponsored her to complete her diploma in legal practice at the Law Development Center in Kampala. He said he spent 9.4 million shillings on the course. After completing the law course, they agreed to arrange an introduction ceremony which had been scheduled to take place in February 2022. However, Charikunda backed out of the marriage plan, saying that she could not proceed because her suitor was too old and likely to cause her stress in marriage. Tumwine is said to be age 60, while Charikunda is in her 30s. Tumwine then dragged Charikunda to court for breach of marriage promise. He asked the court to compel her to refund the money he injected into her education because this was an investment to do their future as husband and wife. A story by John Anamara, Nobatinya Machi for Kigas TV.